we're asked to find the length of chord B in the circle in the diagram. Chord AB is right here, it goes from A to B, and there's no other information given in words, so we're going to have a look at the diagram to see what else we can find out. I can see that there's 5 meters right here, and I can know that this is center O. So if I go from O to the edge of my circle, I see that this 5 meters is actually a radius of the circle. So I'm going to put an arrow there, that's a helpful piece of information, arrow for radius, so the radius is 5. The other piece of information I have is that I have a line segment going from the center of the circle O down to my chord and it's 3 meters of length. It's not a radius because it doesn't end um, at the edge of my circle. And I also have a 90 degree angle here joining that line segment with my chord AB. So that's going to come in handy because I have a property um, relating the line from the center of the circle to the chord. We know that a line from the center of the circle that's perpendicular to the chord, meets it at 90 degrees, is always going to bisect the chord, which means it's going to cut it in half. So because I have that 90 degree measure right here, I know that this chord has been chopped in half by this line segment. So I know that this piece from A to my line segment is going to be the same length as from my line segment over to B. So I have two identical lengths right here. And I'm asked to find, remember, the distance from A to B, the length of chord AB. So I've now looked at all the information I'm given, and I'm going to need to do a little detective work to see what needs to happen next. The piece of information that comes in handy a lot is the radius. You have to remember that even when there's only one radius in the picture, or in this case there's one over here, there's two, you can draw as many radii in your picture as you need. It would be convenient for me to have a right triangle. So I can draw a radius that completes a right triangle. And I know that that radius is going to be the same length as the radius I've already been given. It's going to be also 5 meters. So that's helpful. You can always draw in more radii than what are in the image. The reason that's going to help me out is because now I have a right triangle. I can find the missing side of a right triangle. And I also have the missing the piece of information that these two line segments are equal. So if I'm looking for the distance from A to B, I know now that I'm going to be able to find half of that distance, and then if I simply double it, I'll have the entire distance from A to B. In order to find my missing measurement of my right triangle, I'm going to use my Pythagorean theorem, which tells me that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And in this case, the missing piece of my triangle is not the hypotenuse, it's right here, the hypotenuse is across the right angle, that's my 5. So the missing piece is not the hypotenuse. I can use it either as A or B, but not for C. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my formula. I'm going to use 3 for A, so 3 squared, plus, remember that we don't know what this side is, that's what we're going to be looking for, and we can call it B, that's fine. B squared equals, my C squared has got to be my hypotenuse, so that's my 5. 5 squared. I know that 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. I know that 5 squared, or 5 times 5, is 25. So since I'm missing my b squared, I'm going to have to do a little quick subtraction to find b squared. b squared, if I take the 9 away from this side, I'll be left with b squared. So I have to do that on the other side of my equation as well. And that's going to tell me that b squared, 25 take away 9, is 16. I'm not interested in the side squared. I want the side length itself. So I'm going to need to use square root. So b is the square root of 16. And that tells me that b is, square root of 16 is 4, because 4 times 4 is 16. So 4 meters. So now I know that this little piece here is 4 meters. And because my chord was bisected, the other side is also going to be 4 meters. And that gives me a grand total for the chord AB, 4 meters and 4 meters, of 8 meters. So I now know that AB measures 8 meters.